And hello everybody, and I hope you're all okay, and I hope you're all uh, looking after yourselves today. Look, I've just found loads and gents. So if you can see it, a squirrel. <laughs> oh, I love nature, I really do. Look at how gorgeous it is. But well, technically, in the UK, that's vermin because it's uh, not red. It's actually a European one. So if you actually shot that, as much as it is animal cruelty, you wouldn't get done. <laughs> it's a gorgeous looking thing. <laughs> well, shall I, Mr. Squirrel? <laughs> Okay, now let's add a lot back into it. Alright. I'm just uh, walking on there. Uh, riding. Actually, that leaves gentlemen come past. Uh, um, yeah, it's just the uh, riding. Oh, she got full blind. She... Uh, this is the uh, riding's oh, not to do like like down by uh, society. Right guys, I'm not sure to it. Tonight, 8 o'clock, uh, you can join me and DJ Vic's Lyrical. Possibly uh, Mackie will be around as well. And 8 o'clock, um, we should be hopefully going live on a green yard um, talking about children's um, mental illness and services that have actually um, been uh, let down in society and why uh, children and also adults as well uh, but we're going to mainly focus on uh, children have been let down um, in society and uh, why um, services have uh, not been supporting them um, and why there's so many suicides um, by uh, young children um, one of the stories that rings to my mind is uh, I was talking about uh, suicide rates and uh, we had a young child as young as six uh, jump off um, Northbridge in Halifax 
six years old, which is a disgrace. Why didn't that child um, get the support he actually needed um, from these uh, services? And uh, I'd like to know what your thoughts are as well. So you can actually join us on uh, there as well and let us know what you think. Because 9 out of 10 there's two sides um, of uh, how uh, mental health uh, teams are supposed to get hold of a child's information. Normally it could be a school route and the school actually transferred the child to social services. Um, and then social services come out to your uh, house and they speak to you about it and then normally social services can't take any medical route because they're not medically trained professionals so they turn around and say to your parents or your carer uh, I can't deal with this, it's a bit over my uh, head uh, a bit out of my uh, training path uh, so they transfer you on to the mental health crisis team uh, but you never actually get here back um, from the mental health crisis team the other route is uh, you can go see your doctor about it and turn around and say uh, your GP and turn around and say my child is actually suffering from mental illness so you actually go see your GP if you have a good GP they'll actually sort you out and if you have a bad GP they won't actually sort you out and they'll try and just fob you off with uh, medication uh, or it goes under the uh, GP's training so the GP passes you on to the uh, mental health crisis team and then you don't hear back from them um, the best route to actually take is actually chase it up um, if you actually ch chase it up they'll actually eventually uh, contact you uh, about it so anything you um, Oh. Yeah, because anything and I think so I think you uh, chase up um, they actually sometimes will follow us sometimes they won't follow it up and it'll take months and uh, years before any action is uh, taken um, about it and uh, then you pass from Pidilla to Post and because your child has not got the special care needs they uh, need then they go on to uh, finding uh, other methods to uh, deal with it and uh, 9 out of 10 of most kids uh, can't deal with it so they're going to um, drug addiction uh, to try and block out that or alcohol addiction to try and block it out and then it gets too too far for them and then they end up committing suicide um, so, uh, and that's uh, what tends to actually um, happen um, sadly the way society is changing and not supporting hardly anybody and uh, yeah sad as it gets but uh, it seems to be happening uh, a lot um, in society not just in Calderdale it's happening everywhere and it's something that needs addressing and we'd love to uh, hear uh, what you think um, about it as well. So we'll be doing a live stream 8 o'clock 
DJ Vic's lyrical channel um, about it. You don't have to show your face if you don't want to, guys. Um, but I'd love to actually hear your voice and what you think about it. So the thing about Stream I had is come on with your fake name. It doesn't have to be your proper name. Um, and just talk because uh, you could say, oh, my name's Vicky Pollard and I suffered at the hands of this company and this company and this mental health team and they didn't do this, this and this and uh, no one will actually know who you are because you're uh, using a fake name and that's what tends to happen on your BBC documentaries and that type of thing the person will come on with a fake profile and uh, speak um, so we'd love to actually hear uh, your thoughts on it. You might disagree with calling me completely. You might think that kids get no uh, get more help than we actually uh, are seeing. We'd love to hear that as well. More difference of opinion is better than anything. It opens up a nice debate and we can have a good uh, conversation about it. And I love conversation. I think conversations need to happen more. Because with conversation you're actually trying to sort something out. So it's a good thing. Okay. Uh, part two. I was watching a BBC documentary uh, yesterday. On um, Katie Price's uh, child. That Harvey Price. Um and he's trying to get him into a specialist uh, college for his uh, needs because he's got physical uh, learning disabilities and mental health issues and that type of thing and she was looking around uh, a lot of different um, schools and that type of thing and uh, they were visiting orphaned uh, schools. So, she went around all these colleges trying to find him one. Her right, yeah. But uh, don't forget, she's a high ish up celebrity. Don't forget. She's on loose women and programmes like that. So, she's actually in the starlight, in a sense. And actually has a big um, media following because she's on TV. So you're thinking like that for the situation. She's also bankrupt, they say. So anything that she makes technically, uh, the companies will take uh, a section of a section of to pay off her debts. So she'll also be claiming benefits most likely as PIP, uh, an ESA and that type of thing. So uh, we got to take that into uh, consideration as uh, well. I'm not saying she has her right to actually claim it because uh, Harvey's not working so he has the right to claim it as a vulnerable adult. Well, she'll probably also get carers allowance and things like that for him as well. So take that into consideration as well. So she's getting all this money and she's put him into this boarding um, specialist uh, school thing. Which she has a right to do. But don't forget she's a high up celebrity. She's on big... Uh, programs um, with it. So, take that into consideration, right? So, they're not going to say no to their other, the authorities and the councils and things like that because they're scared of it going on social media, uh, they're scared of it going on the TV because don't forget she's on loose women, so they're scared of 
the pad parts actually going out on uh, social media so they're not going to say no are they if you think about it logically so she is going to be allowed into this uh, specialist college her child's going to be allowed into the specialist college because the councils and etc and all the main authorities are scared of uh, that fact so let's think about it from a point of view of somebody that also needs uh, the same help um, and the same uh, kind of support with education and that type of thing in society uh, now most councils have a thing called the local offer and the local offer is basically what support and things like that are in the local area so if it's West Yorkshire and it's Cosmodale Council they have to support the West Yorkshire board which is Leeds, Wakefield, Halifax, Kirtleys, Batley, Dewsbury, them type of areas so that comes under the York local offer plan but most councils and societies with a local offer like to keep the money in the local economy so I like to basically keep it in Halifax if it's called a council or they like to keep it in Solar Bridge and that type of thing because that's called a yep so they're not going to let the child say go to the nearest specialist um, college boarding school which happens to be in Harrogate and it's called Henshaws so we put a claim in to go to the specialist college because a person needs that extra support and needs that extra grounding so the council will refuse it because Henshaws comes under Harrogate and Harrogate is North Yorkshire so the money technically is not staying in the local offer or local economy so we'll refuse it so do you not have an high class fame like Katie Price so we don't give a fuck about you in a sense you're a nobody see how it happens and see where people get let down because it happens a lot in society and that's why uh, there's so many people uh, being let down in uh, society as much as we like to keep support people in society and we pay tax and that type of thing for it so we don't support anybody and just blame uh, funding problems and uh, that type of thing so they don't support anybody with any support work whatsoever unless it's in this 
um, local offer. Let's sit down and have a breather. Have a breather. So they won't actually support anybody um, in that. So they actually uh, won't support anybody with uh, their health problems or mental issues or learning and disabilities and that type of thing. So they let people down in that perspective. So you've got to think of it like that as well. Um, so you're putting that into some consideration and uh, thinking to yourself why is society uh, letting uh, a lot of uh, people uh, down? So you've got to take that in consideration as well. The seventh thing comes down to money. And if the council wants to keep money in the area, because it helps the community and the economy um, of that area. So you've got to think of that as well. I'm in Beachwood Park. Afternoon. I think of it in that perspective as well. Um, so the door to part, yeah, in uh, that sense either. So it's actually a sad and lonely world of how people are being trapped. And it's very uh, sad that people are actually not supporting uh, each other and actually battling for our rights and our freedoms. So I'm going to end this stream here on this beautiful waterfall area. <laughs> And I'll see you for part two. And hello guys and welcome back. <sighs> and I hope you're all looking after yourselves today. And uh, going back on to the local offer. So children are not supported because of this new system called the uh, local offer. I shouldn't have come down this way, it's so bloody slippy. Oh, so, friends are not supporting people with this local offer, and not helping our people, and not helping uh, our communities in any way shape or form so if you was a councillor you've got to ask yourself would you support this uh, local offer or would you go against um, this local offer right we've also got to take into consideration in each council, there are more or less a majority um, council. It could be Tontora, which could be Conservatives. It could be Labour. It could be Green. 
or it could be Liberal Democrats. Nine out of ten in most let down areas, it's a Labour council, more or less. Uh, not saying every council that are Labour are let down in any way, shape, or form, but in the Yorkshire area, it seems to be mainly the Labour councils. So, if it's a council, say, with some um, Conservatives, um, a few uh, Liberal Democrats, um, a few um, Independent, um, and majority are Labour. So, your council is Labour, so that means they've got a more Labour um, council members. So, the council members will not be allowed to go against the leader of the council, which will be Labour, because it's a Labour-led council. So they're not allowed to go against the uh, leader. Um, so they won't go against the Labour <laughs> leader. I'll be back in a second, guys. I'm just going to tell me uh, shoelace. So they won't go against um, the leader. So that means. So that means they won't go against uh, the leader of that council, which well, could be Labour, for a sense. So they won't actually vote against him. So think about it like that, and think about it that there are only certain members of other parties, like Tory. I don't like Lib Dems, like Green, I don't like Independent in the council. Anything they put through in the council will not get past the council because it's a Labour council. So things like the local offer, for example, they will not propose or get rid of because it's been passed. So the council stick with that general idea. I even threw was supposed to have equal rights and equal party members and that type of thing. And you've got to think to yourself as well guys we vote for these people to actually uh, speak for us in the council. So, what's the fucking point of voting, in a sense? Because anything you want happening to the council will not happen because they just follow exactly what lab the Labour leader wants of that council or what the Tory leader wants if it's a Tory council etc etc so fuck all happens so how can we stop this bullshit from uh, happening in the council and how do we get our rights and how do we get our freedoms back and the only answer is to challenge everything so you don't like something that's happening in your area challenge it uh, so write up a form and get people to sign it and uh, protest it and the more you do that the council may possibly have no legs to stand on because the majority of people don't want it see how it works so you have to challenge it 
But if you can get certain council members as well that say the same thing and get them to actually sign the petition, you've got them on your side as well. So, if you could have a meeting as well and secretly record a counter to and saying I don't agree with it or an MP etc etc what you got you've got backup of a councillor so you could protest against say a Lindsay Disability Act that's coming from the council you've got backed up by a politician you've got backed up by a councillor say and because you've got that you can take the matter to court and you will win that case and not many people do it but I urge you to actually do it because the more you do it the more you'll change things in society and the more society will get better and the more society will change and the more society will work on our side instead of working on their side also remember to go in with manners and not abuse if you look at my stick video and pen video that's what that's talking about a lot too many people go in with stick more than they do hello sir i'm wondering if you can help me today i have this problem and this problem and this problem without raising your temper tone and keeping nice and calm and relaxed because you keep calm and relaxed you are going to piss off that council that police officer that mp more because they want you to react because they want a reason to throw you out or they want a reason to call the police or they want a reason to arrest you or ban you so keep calm okay if you're talking on the phone don't forget it's recorded but there's nothing stopping you recording it as well you don't even actually technically have to tell them you're recording it if you don't wish but best thing to do as well stick it on line if you record a phone call and uh, you don't like the outcome stick it on line but when you stick it on line as well do a half word I'm thinking of petition as well so you'll write a petition up and get people to sign it petition comes more people sign it get a count, count hopefully get a council or an MP on board or a police officer on board or someone with power they sign it you've got more backup as well so actually do that not many people realize that either so you gotta think about it that way as well and you've actually got to think about how you can win and how you can change things and make things for the better and you do that you probably will win and you will probably um, change things in a sense but uh, you've got to think yourself you can't always change things by running to be an independent councillor or running to be a councillor for Labour or running for a councillor to be from another party you see what I mean? because that doesn't work either because you will be pushed back by other members of the party that are yes men and agree with everything that that per councillor does or that leader does or that type of thing you have a distant of opinion they will throw you out they will, not, they will try in their power 
to kick you out of the party. Say I vote a Brexit. My daughter Labour members don't vote Brexit and they don't want Brexit. Because I voted Brexit, Labour wanted to throw me out. And believe it or not, in Halifax it did happen in that particular tone. Because I voted for Brexit and Holly Lynch didn't want Brexit and other members of the party didn't want Brexit and I was the only one that voted for Brexit it turned them against me so you got to think of it that way as well so like I say, keep challenging the corrupt society film and record everything and I'll see you tonight, 8 o'clock DJ Vic's Lyricals channel and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe to her channel as well. Press the notification bell so you know when we put new content up and we go live so you can actually uh, watch that content. Look after yourself, film everything, record everything, challenge everything and stay safe and respect.